Now we are ready to do the show you the math how to do it. So the math. So we call that the change in price. The expected value will be equal to、uh, expected value of all its terms. So it's、uh, expected Q times C minus expected Q minus one times C plus expected U T. Ah,、uh, in the first term, because C is constant and Q T is mean zero, so this first item is zero. Similar to the second term, and U T is a mean zero I D. So expected value of ah.、Uh, The price change is zero, and recall that、uh, from the free assumption we have is Q T U T have mean zero, Q my Q T minus one times U T also mean zero, and zero the independence means Q T times、uh, Q T minus one is also zero. And now we can calculate the variance of the price, and then we use the formula of a variance formula. Which is、uh, variance of x is equal to expected value of x square minus square of its expected value. So this is the formula you learn in statistics class. So what you do, you see, can see the second part. The expected value of the price changes is actually zero. So what we left with the first term. So what we will do is to expand this change in price square directly. So we place this using the formula we have there, and here we have a complicated formula which is a plus b plus c square. So what we're going to do is just the brute force method, just expand. So it just multiply each term from each term. So we have the first term is Q T times C square. And second term is the second term b square, and plus c square. So this is, and then the let the last term is two、um, ab, okay, and then you have two bc, and plus two ac. So recall this is a plus b plus c square is a square plus b square plus c square plus two ab plus two bc plus two bc, okay, two ac. So this is the formula, and You can see it again, okay. The first term, okay, is Q T square, which is equal to one. We have shown, and similar second term is also one. So this give us two C, and second term is uh, uh, U T square. It gives you sigma square U, and the rest free term actually is zero because look at the second line of the recall. So recall everything is zero. So that's why. We have this. Now we want to show the gamma one is equal to negative c square. How do we do? Actually, similar. Use the brute force method. It's very uh trivial, uh, but we need some math. Okay, so gamma one is by definition covariant of uh is uh lab uh first different price and is uh lag. So it's equal to um expected value of the product minus ah、uh, product of the own expectation, and this second term is equal to zero because expected value of a、uh, price change ah、uh, is zero. So we only left the first term, and what we're going to do is basically we just expand it by putting. Uh, its expression directly, so we have this. So just this is this part is based on the definition. So we have three terms times three terms. So what you're going to do is directly multiply. So there's nothing more but brute force. So here first we collect c square. Okay. So this basically just collect all the term with、uh, c times c. Okay. And second one you can see is collect the term only with c, and the last term is. The one without C. So, ah,、uh, you will see the thing without C is actually each single term will be equal to zero, and the term without C equal to zero. Okay, and if you look at the terms with C square, the first term is zero, second term is also zero, the last term is also zero. So only what is left is the third term, which is 
has expandability of 1. So that's why we have negative c squared. Now finally, we want to show uh, the gamma 2 is equal to 0. And the idea is the same. I'm not going to show it. Uh, you can easily check it. And you can easily show that uh, more than 3 is also equal to 0. And if you learn time series class, actually this is uh, very similar to moving average 1 process. Uh, we're not going to talk about this. If you want to know, you can check. Uh, the internet, Wikipedia, they tell you what is MA1 process. And using the model parameter, uh, can be estimated using uh, uh, sigma 0 and sigma 1. So uh, let's recall okay, uh, the beta spread, okay, uh, A minus B is equal to C. And from we just saw, the estimation C is equal to square root of uh, gamma 1, the first octocovariance. That's why we, if you want to measure beta spread, okay, we can calculate the price and do the first difference. And then you calculate its first octocovariance. Take the negative value, take the square root times 2, then you can have beta spread. Now you want to ask, we have C, uh, the formula is defined when gamma 1 is positive, and the convention will make it 0.